The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A shoot will spring from the stock of Jesse. A new shoot will grow from his roots. On him will rest the spirit of Yahweh, the spirit of wisdom and insight, the spirit of counsel and power, the spirit of knowledge and fear of Yahweh. His inspiration will lie in fearing Yahweh. His judgment will not be by appearances. His verdict not given on hearsay. He will judge the weak with integrity and give fair sentence for the humblest in the land. He will strike the country with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips bring death to the wicked. Uprightness will be the belt around his waist and constancy the belt about his hips. The wolf will live with the lamb, the panther lie down with the kid, calf, lion, and fat stock beast together with a little boy to lead them. The cow and the bear will graze, their young will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like the ox. The infant will play over the den of the adder. The baby will put his hand into the viper's lair. No hurt, no harm will be done on all my holy mountain. For the country will be full of the knowledge of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. That day, the root of Jesse, standing as a signal for the peoples, will be sought out by the nations, and its home will be glorious. And our response is taken from Psalm 72. God, endow the king with your own fair judgment, the son of the king with your own saving justice. In his days, uprightness shall flourish and peace and plenty till the moon is no more. His empire shall stretch from sea to sea, from the river to the limits of the earth. For he rescues the needy who calls to him and the poor who has no one to help. He has pity on the weak and the needy and saves the needy from death. May his name be blessed forever and endure in the sight of the sun. In him shall be blessed every race in the world, and all nations call him blessed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now at this time, filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to little children. Yes, Father. For that is what it has pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father. And no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, Jesus spoke to them by themselves. He said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and never saw it, to hear what you hear and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord.